Welcome back to Alpha Centauri. This is our fourth episode. Woo! Let's load up our save. Mission year 2132. Oh yeah. Turn complete. That's right, we left off at a turn complete. Like always, got a rover going to explore things, doing some research. Got to find a way to uh, improve the research. We need to expand so that we don't lose our cutting edge. Uh, but that's going to take a little bit of time. Should probably do that after these recycling tanks get built or something. This guy, oh yeah, that's right, he's building a colony pod. I remember now. Let's see what's in down here. Uh, it looks like I might have a place to go. And this guy. Not much down here, so I guess we'll just turn back. Turn complete. Hmm. Still a population and territory. That's good. Ooh. Okay. Hold on here. Energy resources. Cool. I'm going to change the... Uh, so, this is a landmark. I'm going to change the flatness thing. I keep waving at the screen. I forget you guys can't see that, apparently. Um, okay. Time to talk about energy. Why? Because we found energy resources, and we have this thing called the Fullest Ridge. And you can see here that, well, it, it's this ridgy type of shape, although it's not nearly as impressive here as it is in the regular map. And by regular, I mean in, like, the official map of planet. Just because this map has a lot of hills and mountains. I mean, look at this. We've got mountain there, mountain pretty much, like, everywhere that's not port is, like, way high up. Even this is, like, hill. So there, there's no such things as low-lying plains. Um, anyways, the Fullest Ridge is a naturally occurring feature on planet. As such, it gains a natural landmark. And the Fullest Ridge has the special property that squares along here produce one extra energy. Now, normally, squares produce energy only when you use a solar collector, and they only produce energy when you... Um, wait, hold on. Other way around. Squares only produce energy with the solar collector, and they do it based on their height. Hmm, I don't know what... But they only do it based on their height. And so this thing right here is at elevation 10. So it's only going to produce one energy. Whereas this thing at 1248 should produce two energy. At 2618 should produce three energy. And way up here at above 3000 should produce four energy. Uh, 3500 is the highest you can get. So if we come over here... These things are not actually that high. This is only 456, 1860, 1010, all down here, see? So normally this wouldn't produce a lot of energy, but it's going to produce a little bit extra because it's this special ridge, and this ridge is very nifty. How do we know this? Well, A, I've played this forever, but if you're not sure on this, you can always hit F1 and bring up the data links. And let's see. We're probably looking for landmarks. Here we go. Landmarks. Certain major landmarks on planet surface convey special bonuses. You see there's a whole bunch of them. The fullest ridge here confers plus one energy in each square. In fact, so do the geothermal shallows and the uranium flats, which apparently are flat. But good luck finding them. Mount planet is a giant mountain, um, and it, it has like a volcano thing at the top, so you get extra minerals and energy. Uh, the crater gives you a bit of uh, energy, sorry, minerals, and... Um, Sea and jungle give you extra nutrients. The monsoon jungle is really big. Really big. Which brings us to another thing about jungles and forests. You can have jungles and forests. Congratulations! Forests! Yay! Um, let's see. Terraforming. Since I've mentioned it, I might as well show you. Plant forest. Forest squares provide balanced but limited nutrient, minerals, and energy production. Do do do. Forests can also expand into adjacent squares, even driving out native fungus in the process. Forest square production is uh, increased a lot if you have tree farm or hybrid forest there. Those are base facilities. They're really nice. If you're a green person, you probably like forest. Anyways, moving along. I'm going to hit V there. Brings me to my next available unit. V for available, yeah, available unit. Uh, whatever. Uh, shift H again. Oh, goody. Let's see what it did. Ah, yes. It gave us that again. Hmm. Pod 
recovered. Huzzah! A materials pod. Excellent. Uh, this guy is going to do some auto movement. I want him to go over uh, here. And this guy. Pod recovered. A dimensional gate! Oh, that was. That was. Where are we? I don't. I don't have any idea. I couldn't. Couldn't possibly. Tell, oh, wait. Well, that was lame. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess as long as I'm over here, I might as well, you know, explore. That's something that can happen. Is uh, sometimes these pods trigger dimensional gates, or if they're in the ocean, they trigger tidal waves. Uh, but usually, they're more impressive than you know, ten squares. Then I'm gonna flatten out the land again. Say goodbye. See, it's, you just see it so much better. Like all the squares. Production complete. Huzzah! Colonel Santiago, founder of the Spartans Naval Corps, christens, christens, I love, I love, good word there, the first combat ship on planet. I have the first Navy in planet. Ha 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 ha. Yes, uh, anyways. Ha, uh, <clears throat> about time. I expect to see a lot of this. Oh, look at this. Our place has gotten much fancier, yes, I'd say. As you get more um, things appearing on your monument, they get fancier and fancier. So, at three things, we now have little golden bars, and we now have some trees down here, and little bits of green. All right. The f um, let's, let's just look at that. Look, just look at it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's a common occurrence. All right, this guy. Now, I'm not actually getting any bonus nutrients from that right now. So maybe I should try something else, eh? I was talking about energy. This guy doesn't produce any energy, but one of these other squares might. Maybe. No, this one does. So does that one. And that one. And that, oh, there's, there's the mine, yeah. This guy's always going to be a little low on new, um, minerals, I think. So I'm going to have to find something to do about that. However, uh, what we can do is we can get a little bit more energy by building a solar collector. So I'll hit S to do that. It won't be a lot, but it'll be something. Nice sound, eh? So, we have uh, four movement for the gun foil. Let's see if we can get it killed. Pod recovered. Ooh, even better. Sonar data. So this tells me, you know, that there's sea out here, I guess, and out that way. Which is good, because that means this wasn't built on a lake. Oh, hey, nifty. Nutrient resources. Terraform complete. Ooh, what happened over here? <gasps> a mine? Indeed, a mine. Oh, look at that. We're going to starve. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we get some extra minerals. Or we can just do a little bit of growth and a little bit of minerals. I'm actually going to do this because, you know, this guy's not going to build anything right away. It's okay. You see there, the uh, black bar around it indicates that we're going to have a lot more to come anyways, so it's fine. We're cool. And uh, the recycling dates are more important anyways. To increase the yield of a mine, add a road. Only takes a turn or two. This guy's going to have to sit there for a while. Let's come down here. Mod recovered. Ooh, money. We shall be rich, apparently. Oh, well... I guess it's something. We'll put a base out there. I'm suspecting something similar down here. Let's find out. Pod recovered. Turn complete. Mm, looks like it. I don't think this is going to go on very far. Oh, these guys are catching up. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, 
look at this. A desert. Great dudes. As you might imagine, deserts don't really give you any nice bonuses. That's fun. I don't know. I don't know about this gunfoil anymore. That is an Isle of the Deep. An Isle of the Deep is a really cool unit. It's a uh, sea-based mind worm. It, as you can see there, there's extra like flag thickness. That's because it's a transport vessel, in addition to being an attack defense vessel. So it looks like an island, and there's a, a technology later on where they describe what it looks like. Um, and it has mind worms on top of it, and it just floats around, being like, oh, yeah, I'm going to eat your face. And now you're all like, no, don't do it to my face, I like my face. And it's like, no, I'm going to eat your face anyways. And now we're going to open this one and unleash the horrors of it. Energy resources. And by horrors, I mean abundant energy resources. No, not energy resources. How are we doing on those labs? 15 years, crap. We're getting there. We're getting there. Look at this. This guy, look at this. This is crazy. It has so much growth. And like no minerals. So wow. I want a way to turn to, but man, this is gonna be crazy. Woo! Take that! We are a bit damaged, uh, so we're down to three moves, but we've got uh we defended against the Isle of the Deep. So let's go out to deep sea. And I'm not gonna get that yet. I wanna come out here and show something. Um, just like the land has elevation, so elevation, ocean has depth. Imagine that, right? We've got ocean shelf, which goes down to 1,000 meters. Then there's ocean, and that goes down a fair bit as well. And it's kind of this dark blue color, whereas ocean shelf is this um, light blue or cyan. And then there's ocean trench, which goes down to 2,500 and deeper meters. As you can see there, uh, Ocean Trench goes down quite a ways. It's bigger than pretty much anything deeper than 2000 and has a very dark color to it. So even though this is a bit darker because it, it's kind of deep there, it's not quite trenchy. Not quite trenchy. There we go. Although it actually looks deeper than these squares, even though these squares apparently are deeper than, I don't know. Anyways, the depth doesn't affect very much, except you can only build and terraform on ocean shelves. You can't build um, and terraform down in the trenches or in the regular ocean. So if I wanted to put a sea base around here, I could only do it like right here, and I can only terraform on the shelves as well. Which is interesting because it makes like deep ocean kind of, well, no, not super useful. Only kind of useful. Yay, terraform complete. Whatever it was. Which one? Which one? Which one? This one. Right. It's a road. We still can't use mines completely. That's fine. That's fine. Ooh. Hmm. No fungus bonus. That either must only occur later on in the game. Or maybe that's only a disadvantage here, or maybe that's just an alien crossfire thing, but 2714 is pretty good. Or hardened, it's only a hatchling. Ooh, and we're veterans. Alright, so where are we looking at? Looking at eight turns for this guy. Nine turns for that guy. How much is it to her? Oh my goodness. It's only 50. Oh, these are so cheap. It's only 54. So last time I just was like, yeah, spend it all. This time we're only going to make a partial payment. Here, okay. Time to do some math. Let's see. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So uh, we've got 27 squares to fill up which conveniently, 54, which means that each square is costing me two. At the moment, I'm getting three things, because I'm taking in five minerals. 
using two of them for support. So I'm, I've got three things here to fill in. So if I go ahead and say all but the last three, which would be 24. Okay, so basically, I'm going to do 24 times 2, which is 48. I'm not going to pay the full 54. I'll save a couple credits. Not that many, but look at this. Now it'll be done next turn. Bitchin'. Request confirmation. This guy's a little bit more expensive. 72. Um, and he's probably also at 11. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep. So that's a 22, uh, 23. Yeah. Each of these is costing me like 3 at the moment. So that's a lot more expensive. I don't want to pay for it yet. Even though I probably should. It is every citizen's final duty to go into the tanks and to become one with all the people. Chairman Shen Ji Yang. Ethics for tomorrow. Soylent Green is people! But they're delicious. Anytime that you build a new base facility, this will come up. Anytime you build a base facility and there's the last thing that in the queue, this will come up. If you've just built a regular base facility and there's more to do, that screen will not show up. Um, alas, the university beat us again. Darn you! But it's still our first base facility. Oh, look at that. We have little gold thingies. Uh -huh. So, we pop up, interrupt whatever it is we're doing. We could either stockpile energy or work on something like one of these. And at 55 turns, I might want to do one of these because these are really useful. A plus one talent each base gives me extra stoofs in down here, so I get extra, like extra energy and resources a little bit. And the weather paradigm, which is a bit more useful, just a little bit, uh, gives me terraform rate increase, and this one's really important and stuff. So, yeah. However, I've also got that other research coming up, and that's... I think I'm going to let that stockpile for a little bit. Oh, because we're stockpiling, we could either take these minerals and turn them into something else, like just turn them into... A... See, right here, I'm getting uh, turning these minerals into bonus energy. So I'm getting 3 plus 4, which is 7 energy, uh, and you can see they're being allocated in strange ways. So that I'm getting... Um, dividing up this energy, 1 and 2, this is just being, like, some of it is being lost, apparently. It's not all turning into that, which makes sense, I suppose, because it says 4 energy per turn plus minerals to energy, but I'm obviously not getting all of that. Some of it is probably being used here. If we were to take this down here, that does bring it up to 3 and 3. Less bonus, but um, I actually get more energy, and I'm getting a more nutrient growth thingy. So... There we go. Three. It gives us a four and two, because I'm getting a better bonus. So you can see I only get like half the bonus of that going down there. Um, so let's see. Right there I have three, two. Here I have four, two. And there I have three, three. This is clearly the best since it also gives me one of those. Micromanagement for the win. Also, since we're down there, Let's build our way down there with uh, terraforming stuffs, shall we? I think so. Bot recovered. Hey, look, it's that tidal wave I mentioned. Oh. Eh, whatever. Sea fungus. Again, they can only really spread to the uh, shelf squares. Apparently, you need, like, you know soil to anchor yourself or whatever. It's a pretty crappy tidal wave though. Did that actually go anywhere? Yeah, down there. So we have another continent over here, or at least a very large island. I'm not really sure what we are on. Hmm. Well, on the one hand, I kind of like that because maybe this guy will die and you won't be eating up minerals. On the other hand, I like to be able to explore and I don't actually want him to die. And on the third hand, I forgot to show this off. This is what the um, 
things do. I went up to like three two three. It used to be at like two one two or two one one or something. So recycling tanks give you a lot of stuff. Yeah, you're eating your dead bodies, but really it's a, a kind of a better thing to do. You get stuff back from them. You can turn some parts from well, okay, you get stuff back. They might be a little squicky, and if you don't like recycling tanks, you're no one said you had to use them. You can also uh, always click on here. You can take a look at what they do, and you can scrap or recycle them. So, increases nutrient, minerals, and energy output of the base square. Very important. Very important indeed. How's this guy coming along? Any cheaper? Request confirmation. Nope, not really. Still at three. No. But on the plus side, haha! -ha! More stuff because I have less support now. Yay! And if I were to go here, oh darn, 74 turns. That's because of that. 37 turns, yeah? Yeah? Anyways, moving along. Alright then! We might, we might be losing a couple of them. That, uh... Might be happening. Just, um... Yeah. Let's come down there. Still don't have an upgrade for you. Will in a bit for him. I didn't shift hold him. Good grief! This happens more and more as we get along in the game, so... Ah, look at this. In fact, we have a comlink frequency for Mr. Zakharov of the university. Hmm, very fancy. Turn complete. Let us use it. We shall click on comlink and go to Zakharov. Click on him and here we have the faction diplomacy screen. Similar to civilizations, but I like this one a lot better. So down here you have your basic mood. Um, he's blue, which means cool. You know, cool. Yellow is err, and then red is like err. Here's our scenes from his past. Um, if you want to just like watch that, it's kind of interesting for each person. We'll never see Gaia's uh, Deirdre's though. Oh well. Um, his mood. This is what his base looks like. Apparently, he lives in the mountains. If you know where he is on the map, you can look at that instead. Profile. This will show you his profile, and this will show you stuff in the data link. So I could click here, and this is my Spartan Intelligence Files. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, these are actually kind of hard to get to, but you can see here that personality, erratic, hmm. interest, discover, agenda, values, knowledge. So he's looking for this thing called values, knowledge, and you don't know what that is yet, but I do. Ha 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 ha. Headquarters and planetary council votes. Apparently he also automatically has a truce with me, and he has eight planetary council votes. That's interesting to know. Wonder how many I have. Don't know. Anyways, we could also look at his stuff in the data links, where it says he has extras to research, minus two to probes, because apparently he doesn't know about cybersecurity. He gets a free network node and a bonus tech, um, and apparently has no ethics. I'm confused about that one. So he's saying hi. Information on Centauri Ecology could prove quite useful to my research. Can you transmit it to me as a personal favor? Hmm. Ah ha ha. Ah ha ha. No. Although I'm very surprised he doesn't have formers yet. Hmm. He, uh, th people usually like to do this, but, you know, no matter, even if their might is unsurpassed, my might is still quite potent, and I have a lot of money, and a lot of, you know, I have two bases, and I'm going to have a third base pretty soon. So, no, I don't need the money, but I could use this, because I would like lasers. Generally, especially early in the game, they are willing to trade, and trade is good. Generally, you do not want to uh, give something away, especially if it's valuable for free. Ah, yes, see, um, no, <laughs> I'm getting lasers if you're not gonna, if you're getting formers. 
Ah, but he's, he's taking it in stride. Well, that's okay. We are peaceful researchers, Colonel Santiago. Will you sign a treaty of friendship and leave us to study in peace? Every faction gives their own little thing here, and you have your own little ways of responding, which is kind of nifty in the Alien Crossfire Expansion Pack. You can use the Faction Editor to create your own faction, which will have its own different things here. I have no problem with signing a treaty with him, even though I think we'll probably be at war later on, since he's, you know, unsurpassed and all that, and I can't let that stand. Splendid! Blah, 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 blah. Trade and commerce. Yay, trade and commerce. Also, we have a treaty. Uh, yeah, we're done here, since you don't want to trade. You can do other things, but I have found that those other options in the menu, which I'll show you another time, are not always so great. Integrity. Noble. This is a new thing that we've got, and might. So once you start making contact with people, you get this screen popping up. Um, tells you who you are, your integrity, you know how other people about, uh, see you, and your might. In this case, we are potent, though not unsurpassed. If we come to this screen, this was the screen where we saw the intelligence files, but you'll notice down here there's energy, base operations, secret project reports, satellite surveys, no one has satellites, the units and security, and this. So yay, we're up to 11, but nothing on just our profile. Um, so yeah, that's something. There's this council button. Once we get everyone's stuff, we can do the council button. Not for today, though. Ha ha! Oh, good, it disengaged. Uh, we shall run away. This guy will build a solar collector. This guy is going to wait since I think, yes, four years. He's going to, actually he'll probably shift H because really he's going to wait a while. Over here. Request confirmation. Yes, we're finally getting this stuff down a bit. Still not where I want it. Oh, but we built the solar collector. You'll notice we're getting a little bit more energy now. So we've got a little bit more to spend on research and money and stuff. That is pretty darn nifty. Oh yeah, we better keep that there for the five turns. Um, so with that said, let's sacrifice one of these and build a mine. We're going to have to do that for this guy because he's got very few mineable resources anyways. Let's let this guy heal and find the next turn. Hmm, that guy's probably following me. Like I said, we'll see a lot of these. Aha! Aha, aha, ha, ha! See, here, our strength is a little better, but we're only disciplined, we're not hardened yet. Taking damage into account, their odds are not good. Call off the attack, and try and flee. This will probably not be successful, but... We gave it a shot. Okay, he is healed enough to move, so... Turn Let's move over there. Oh good, they left. This guy is still running away. Turn complete. And by now, yes. Request confirmation. All right. Instead of paying nineteen, we'll do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Hmm, six, seven, eight. Okay, so that's a little more expensive than two per, and I want to do ten. So if I hit eleven. Hmm, let's make it 12, because that way there's still 19 minus 12, that's 7, yeah. Perfect, okay, so 12, it'll be done next turn. And we want to replace this with recycling tanks. There we go. Oh no! Seriously, oh no! Production complete. Well, hmm. 
I have a plan. It's a, it is a good one. Trust me on this one. It is a good plan. We've played at least 10 turns now. And we're falling behind. So let's decide where we're going to send this guy. I don't want to send him down here at the moment because there's stuff down there that will eat our faces. Right over here, there's a lot of fungus. So this is going to be hard. And there's not a whole lot of resources over here. Like there's that, but... Now there is a monolith over here, so this this would be fun. This is a nice spot, and I was tempted to consider it because, yeah, we don't fit, but we get a lot of stuff right here. I still like the contiguous base idea. We do need to get somebody right here. And the best fit for right here is going to be like a guy here, so that I can go one, two. Base shapes. You may have noticed that base shapes are one in each direction, two in the diagonals, so you can pretty much go deep diagonal, or sideways diagonal and get your base shape, or diagonal diagonal to get your base shape. What do I want here? I still really like the idea of a contiguous base shape. So, something right on this square would be great. But he will miss the minerals. Still, he'll be on top of this mountain. Something on this square would be a little bit better. But that's rocky, we can't build there. We could try building over here just to match along the side, but not my favorite. Up here we have some good options. This one is especially nice. We'll miss that nutrient resources, but if we were to put a guy there, then he'd come out to two down here. We'd have this kind of weird shape. So our base shape would be like do 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 which isn't bad. It's a little weird. Um What would we do then? Because what's the weird thing about that is that we get this like right angle, and right angles are hard to work with. Because you'll see, not like I'd end up having like this square left over. So maybe not right there. So man, where do we send this guy? This place is a pretty good spot. What about over here on the fullest ridge? This is a good spot because it's contiguous. Doesn't get. It only gets those two. Not that one, but it makes good use of the land otherwise, because it gets most of the ridge. It does not get everything, though. It does get some C, which you can decide whether you like or not. If I were to move it over here, I would get this, but not this. Similar if I move this here, I'd get this one, but not this one. Uh, this situation, I cannot get both this energy and that energy with the same base, so I don't need to try. Because of that, it would be it would make a little more sense to get the energy with this base, but there's no good spot for it. So we'll do a supply crawler setup, and uh, the supply crawler is basically it, it's a thing that goes out, sits on top of a square, and sends back supplies every so often, every turn you you get stuff. It's not a great way of doing things, but it works. This is a good square. I likes it. It'll exp it gets the fullest ridge, it'll expand a fair bit, so let's remember where that was, hit V. Send it right over there. It's going to take a while, because he has to go through fungus and rocks, but he'll get there. Complete. I'm going to leave that one alone. <laughs> Just knowing my recent luck. Alright. The righteous need not cower before the drumbeat of human progress. Though the song of yesterday fades into the challenge of tomorrow, God still watches and judges us. Evil lurks in the data links as it lurked in the streets of yesteryear. But it was never the streets that were evil. Sister Miriam Godwinson, The Blessed Struggle. Miriam. But we get network nodes, which are awesome. Network nodes are amazing. They give us research and they let us hook up the alien artifacts. Um, basically, this is the internet and computers. Ooh, ooh, this is interesting. Hmm. I didn't realize I could, had access to this one already. This is uh, gives me probe team, so I can like be spy and sneaky and a secret project, which is a really good sneaker project, but not one I need at the moment. Planned as a type of economics. We haven't talked about that yet. And librarian is a type of. Uh, person, I guess. Industrial base would be good. Um, let's go ahead and work on that for the moment. That is a good one to get. All 
one, right? Hey, terraform complete. Oh, wow, look at that. Lots of energy. But we're going to change this so that we're good. The network node labs bonus. Um, and to bump it up, I'm increasing production by a lot. This way, uh, look at that. <laughs> Time cut in half. Now, we're probably not going to get the network node on this episode. We will probably wait till the next episode to finish up the network node. But, guess what comes next? Secret project. Oh, and I'm, you know, totally not actually going to spend all that, like, all 15 turns. We're hurrying this at some point. Yeah. Also, while we're doing stuff, I might as well build a farm here, even though I'm not actually getting resources from it at the moment. Uh, it's tempting. Wish me luck. Oh, I can't get there. All right. So we've gotten. What have we gotten? We talked to Zakharov. And we got a treaty. We have a new dude. We've got network nodes being built and a secret project in the works. We've got recycling tanks built. We lost a unit and freed up some more minerals. We built the planet's first ship. And we're falling behind a little bit here. That's okay, so is he. He's stagnating a little bit. It's hard to see where we are. We're somewhere in this area. You can see we're neck and neck with these guys. I don't like how they've uh, shot up. Don't like that. Don't like that. But that will we'll all have to wait for next time. This is a good stopping point to keep you in suspense. What will happen? What will this base be? What will the network node do for us? Will it give us tons of power and responsibility? I don't know. You'll just have to find out next time on Alpha Centauri. Mwahahaha. See you later.